a whiz kid with a very powerful idea. Max Lahan shares his story in tonight's. Universes and infinite parallel universes constantly being created is literally flow of reality and time. Despite the overwhelming scientific evidence to the contrary, a significant number of individuals harbored the belief that the researchers at CERN, utilizing their Large Hadron Collider, have unintentionally triggered the destruction of our own universe, subsequently transporting us to a parallel universe. Among these believers is a young prodigy, often touted as the world's smartest child, who has put forward some intriguing ideas regarding CERN's capabilities and the alleged exploitation of these capabilities by scientists to unlock a gateway to another realm. In this video, we'll explore the arguments presented by this brilliant young mind and delve into the claimed mechanisms by which the machine was allegedly used to create a new portal. Let's delve into the details. In July of the previous year, at a sprawling underground facility located in Meyrin, Switzerland, physicists unveiled the discovery of three unconventional particles, previously unknown to the realm of science. This groundbreaking achievement was made possible through the utilization of the world's largest circular arrangement of superconducting magnets, commonly referred to as the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. Despite the anticipation and some prior predictions hinting at the emergence of a portal on that particular date, the unveiling of three new subatomic particles didn't quite align with these fantastical expectations. The Large Hadron Collider, managed by the European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, has been a subject of considerable fascination and, at times, apprehension for quite some time. Even during the planning stages of the LHC, there were concerns and speculations, with certain scientists contemplating the possibility of it generating a black hole. This concern led Italian physicist Francesco Calogero to pen an essay in 2000 titled Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth? This essay initiated years of discussions, ranging from the earnest to the whimsical, about the LHC's potential to pose a threat to humanity. For instance, in 2009, John Oliver featured a science teacher on The Daily Show who believed the LHC experiments had a one in two chance of producing a world-ending black hole. Nevertheless, Oliver also interviewed genuine scientists from CERN who provided a much more reassuring perspective, though perhaps with less comedic flair. While there remains some uncertainty regarding the possibility of the LHC generating black holes that have yet to be observed, the Earth continues to exist. In 2011, two researchers proposed that mini black holes gravitationally bind matter without significant absorption, implying that these miniature black holes might exist harmlessly, drifting without causing any disruption. But now there's another individual expressing concerns about CERN, and this person happens to be Max Laughlin, renowned as the world's smartest young mind. Max's perspective on the Large Hadron Collider has raised alarms among experts worldwide. This exceptionally gifted young individual initially gained recognition for captivating the global audience with profound insights into the workings of our world and how humans adapt to the ever-unfolding events in our universe. However, his current viewpoints are not mere facts, they are voiced as warnings. The young prodigy has documented his concerns in videos where he expounds upon his theories, particularly the notion of a portal that he believes researchers at CERN have opened. It's important to note that Max Laughlin is not only a thinker, but also an inventor. Remarkably, at the age of 13, he crafted a free energy machine, showcasing this technology and elucidating how it could potentially revolutionize the way people live across the globe. Since then, he has become renowned for his keen observations of intriguing phenomena in our universe. His areas of interest delve into the realms of our reality and the existence of parallel universes. Some of his hypotheses revolve around the idea that CERN's experiments could pose a threat to the very fabric of our existence, potentially ushering us into a parallel reality closely resembling our own. This notion gains credibility due to previous experiments conducted by scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research. These experiments primarily involve the use of the Large Hadron Collider, a machine designed to break down subatomic particles and simulate conditions akin to the Big Bang. 
According to Max, the experiments conducted by the Large Hadron Collider might have fractured our universe, leading to the existence of humanity in a parallel reality. He elaborated on the concept that within our multiverse, there exists an infinite number of parallel universes, each containing its own set of infinite realities. He stated, initially, we had a single timeline, but when the anomaly occurred during the experiment, we were propelled into an infinite number of parallel universes. This means that as we converse, our reality constantly shifts from one universe to another along this endless continuum of universes, representing our current state of existence. Max suggested that CERN scientists might have detected this anomaly in the space-time continuum and subsequently intervened to modify these established events. This discovery challenges our conventional understanding of reality. It aligns with reports that the European Organization for Nuclear Research is actively researching the creation of portals and alterations to establish connections between universes. Max further connected these ideas about opening portals at CERN to the notion that we have neighbouring universes drawing parallels with his concept of the Mandela Effect. Max Laughlin's theory posits that the Large Hadron Collider played a pivotal role in shifting humanity into a new universe. This colossal particle accelerator, constructed by the European Organisation for Nuclear Research, is housed in a 17-mile underground tunnel situated near the French and Swiss borders, descending approximately 165 to 575 feet below the surface. Its primary purpose is to collide two particle beams and then observe the resulting effects, including the behaviour of atoms, molecules and the outcomes produced by the laws of physics. Regarding the Mandela Effect, Max expressed his belief in its existence. The Mandela Effect refers to a situation where a substantial number of individuals collectively remember a specific event occurring when in fact it did not take place. This phenomenon aligns with Max's theory. The term Mandela Effect was coined by Fiona Broom in 2009, who created a website to document her experiences with this peculiar phenomenon. She recounted an incident where she discussed her memories of Nelson Mandela's death in the 1980s with others, despite the fact that the former South African president did not pass away in prison during that decade. He passed away in 2013. Astonishingly, many people shared her vivid recollections, remembering detailed television coverage of his death and even a speech by his widow. The widespread phenomenon is known as the Mandela Effect and lends support to Max Laughlin's idea that we currently inhabit an alternative extension of our universe. And that's not all. In the past, there have been attempts, albeit unsuccessful ones, to file lawsuits against CERN due to concerns about public safety, indicating an underlying apprehension regarding the potential side effects of utilising this groundbreaking technology. The primary apprehensions surrounding the use of the Large Hadron Collider pertain to the creation of microscopic black holes as discussed above and the concept of strange matter. The concern regarding black holes is rather straightforward. One of the LHC's objectives is to replicate tiny black holes that could provide insights into the origins of the universe through the study of the Big Bang. On a superficial level, this might sound alarming to individuals without technical expertise. The second concern revolves around the possibility that high-energy experiments conducted at the LHC could generate strangelets, a hypothetical substance composed of strange matter capable of affecting the composition of other earthly materials. It's worth noting that strange matter is currently a theoretical concept that has not been observed in outer space, where high-energy particles are naturally occurring and interacting. So should we genuinely be concerned about any catastrophic events occurring as a result of the Large Hadron Collider? Over the years, people have fueled fears about the LHC, both in real life and through works of fiction. For instance, Dan Brown's 2000 novel Angels and Demons featured CERN, where the Illuminati aimed to steal antimatter to potentially harm the Pope. More recently, the Netflix series Stranger Things revisited the notion that our insatiable quest for knowledge and power might unleash malevolent forces from another dimension. However, it's essential to recognise that these are all works of fiction, and many of the theories circulating on the internet fall into the same category. If you find this perspective somewhat sceptical, consider CERN's reassuring safety statement. The LHC can achieve an energy that no other particle accelerators have reached before. 
but nature routinely produces higher energies in cosmic ray collisions. Whatever the LHC will do, nature has already done many times over during the lifetime of the Earth and other astronomical bodies. In essence, if there were any substantial risks associated with the LHC, they would likely have manifested by now. The LHC is projected to conclude its mission around 2040, and the global particle physics community is actively exploring options for its successor. One of these potential successes is the Future Circular Collider FCC, envisioned to be situated within a tunnel approximately 91 kilometers in circumference. This tunnel would be located at depths ranging from 100 to 400 meters and would traverse areas in French and Swiss territories passing beneath Lake Geneva. The scientific significance of the FCC has received validation from the European Strategy for Particle Physics, which was updated by the CERN member states in 2020. This strategy identified the FCC as the most viable candidate to replace the existing facilities. Consequently, CERN has been entrusted by its member states with initiating a feasibility study for the FCC. In 2028, contingent on the findings of this study, the member states will make decisions concerning the project as a whole, including the prospects for commissioning the FCC in the 2040s. We're eager to hear your thoughts on this matter in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe for more engaging content. Thank you for tuning in.